On the issue of Austin McBroom, we had quite a debate on Monday about um, <clears throat> whether or not he was essentially lying about this whole thing. And uh, the evidence is mounting up because he's, he's putting out stuff and he's getting more and more pathetic. It's getting unbelievable. It's getting very unbelievable. Here, for example, is a screenshot of him in the shower to set the tone for the day. He posted this photo. I mean, what the fuck? That? Come on. <laughs> what the hell? Also, who took that? The phone is outside the glass. Who took the photo? <laughs> That's from him and his body being in the gym. Mm -hmm. So he's not naked? No. No, he's in the sauna. Oh, okay. He says, always push yourself to the limit. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> There's a video Love of a him. size queen. <laughs> What? Nothing. <laughs> but this is a really funny photo. That's why I'm having an issue with all this. And with the caption, I like it. It's working for me. Yeah. <clears throat> so there was a lot, and it was kind of, we wanted a good timeline because we missed stuff even before the RV. So we went through some videos and put together a little timeline. <laughs> it starts before the RV. So here's, this all starts before what we watched on Monday before the RV. Mm -hmm. So here oh, he is. Austin sends you. Now, apparently I got details that this is Catherine's bonnet that he's continuing to wear in all of his videos, mm. which adds an extra layer of sadness. Yeah. So. Oh, Austin God. sends you a video when he's Finally sick. Just got out of bed. He got sick and he was posting this shit. I got chills and the fever and sweating from head to toe. What should I do, y'all? Hopefully I don't have the C word. <laughs> Should I go to the hospital just to, like, make sure? No, obviously. What? What, I, what should I do, y'all? What should I do? I'm gonna try to take a cold shower. This man's not sick. And don't. <laughs> that is not a sick man. That is not a sick man, my friends. Man. So here he has a whole sick arc before the RV. Here's part two. Here he is uh, filming himself <laughs> dying. <laughs> Guys, we just made it back to the house. I'm gonna go inside and get some rest. Wait, you're traveling oh, yeah. around doing so, shit when you think you have COVID? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. He went to the doctor. That's hard to fake. Why would you? That's a lot high effort fake. Right. Mm. Yeah. I mean, to go away to urgent care, you know how long you have to wait to see a doctor? Nobody a would want to spend their time doing that. Right. Nobody. That's true. I, I think of them, everything in their life, they find a way to maximize content yeah. on it. So he has a doctor's appointment for whatever it is already scheduled. He's like, all right, I'm going right. to say I'm sick. Yeah, that's how I see it, too. Right. I don't know about Have that. Have been that? A doctor's appointment beforehand? Yeah, I got a doctor's appointment tomorrow. And are you planning to do content there? <laughs> I mean, if I was in his position, I would. I would maximize it. I want right. to go, oh, my he's tummy, but... <laughs> if he's trying to post a Snapchat... Because remember, he's been, a, times a day. he's been a daily vlogger for years, too. <coughs> so he, he, he knows the game. He has not yeah. been a daily vlogger for a long time. He hasn't? I don't think so. Well, he, They've been infrequently time. posting, like, Well, he years, has the... He, he knows the game, he you know. He's been, he's been that for a long time. I feel hmm. like it's his second nature. Oh, shit. Chad's saying you're being a doolittle, Ethan. By saying he's not sick. Oh, oh shit. True. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not talking about a chronic illness, so I'm just saying, I'm just saying he, this man does not have COVID. I'm 100% sure <laughs> that he is totally fine. That's my medical professional opinion. He says, when you're sick, you should start appreciation and you start appreciating the things in your life so much more. I mean, okay. What things? No, Ethan. That's Again, not how that works. He doesn't. It's not like he has lupus, right? Got a fever. Yeah. Being a baby. Um, Austin reveals that he got a house near Catherine. We mentioned this, but we didn't watch it. Here it is. Listen up. Listen, 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 listen. <laughs> so I just pulled up to the house, right? Just got back from looking at all these beautiful homes, the homes you guys just saw. And don't get me wrong, they're beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Now, I didn't see those. You guys saw them. Apparently, he was looking at $20 million houses. Yeah, they were. Yeah, he was pretending. He was wasting a realtor's time. There is no like, fucking way. Houses. Listen, I know you've lived a successful life and all this. There's no way in hell that you were able to afford a $20 million 
mansion after a divorce by yourself. Sorry. No. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so either. But they're like 30 minutes away from my kids, and that's just way too far for me. And so you guys haven't seen the house yet, but my first choice, the house <laughs> that I really, really, really want, is like super close to my kids, and it's like golf cart distance, right? Not only that, the house sits on one acre. Like the lot is one acre. If anybody knows how big a one acre is, it's massive. So much room for activities. And so I've been praying for this home for the last week that I move into it and that this process can be so smooth for my kids. They can come back and forth to my house, to Catherine's house every day. Like that's been my number one priority is making sure my kids go through this process as easy as possible. And so I just go back to the house and I get a call from my agent. He's like, Austin, guess what? I'm like, what? He's like, you got the house. Okay, so I don't think he's joking in this one. I feel like in the beginning, it slowly morphs into him playing it up mad. Because mm -hmm. in this one, there's there's nothing really, there's no joke oh, here. Yeah, so you know, he wants yeah. to be near his kids. There's a house in the neighborhood. I got it. Like, I, I, think he's, forward here. I think he's being genuine. Uh, in this moment, which makes me think the divorce is still real, but he's playing up the pathetic angle. Um, and she she knows that. She's in on it, too, probably. Um, but everyone's, like, started clouding on him after this because it's pretty weird for your ex to set up shop a few doors down from you. Although, frankly, I've heard of this happening before. I don't think it's that uh, crazy. I mean, I presume that she knew and was okay with it. You know? And it would be nice for the kids to have the parents walking distance from each other. That would be good, I think, for them. I suppose so. If, if both the parents were cool with it. Right. So, uh, Catherine shopping for Austin's new house after she saw he had nothing. Oh, she's getting involved? So people are uh, right, speculating so that she's buying stuff for him because he's using, because he uses her same products from Sephora, whatever products, and people are saying that he's using that as an excuse to get back in the house. <laughs> so she's buying him a set for himself. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay. <laughs> I'm here at Sephora bright and early because I went to Austin's house to go check it out on the inside today, and I noticed that he didn't have anything. Hold on. So help him out and get him all the things that he uses hold on she went and checked his house what house there's no house right which he didn't get he goes something happened and it didn't happen it's like okay is she just being nice and referring to the rv <laughs> could be at that time they thought they were getting that house right yeah yeah i see but okay. she said she went there and toured it i guess yeah, she probably went with him. Okay, all right. In our bathroom, or has been using in our bathroom that is mine. He steals my my things, so I'm gonna help him out and get him everything he needs to make his life more simpler, and so that he feels like he has his own thingies. Okay, first things first. So anyway, she's getting him products so that he doesn't have to keep coming into the house. Catherine responds to people asking why she's getting him stuff. Okay. Why are you buying stuff for Austin? She said, for his new home? Because he's the father of my children and his home is also their home. I'm also excited for him and his new chapter and have compassion and love for him. Why not? Not everything in life has to end bad. I'm not angry, bitter, or spiteful. All end, and an end is also a new beginning. I mean, classy, you know? Sure. <laughs> sure. We'd all be better off if uh, divorced parents, uh, you know, didn't hate each other. We'd all be better off. That's fair. So, we love that. Uh, Catherine uh, earnestly answers a question on Snapchat about whether or not she has doubts about leaving Austin. Hmm. The question is, do you ever cry about this situation or have doubts? You just look so strong and confident. She said, cry? Yes. Crying is the best release of expression when purging. Wait, purging? I don't think... She like mean, purging emotions. Okay. Because purging has a very specific... No, to expel. Oh. Okay. That makes sense. I think... I, okay. No, I know I what the word means. No, 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 I know no, what purging. the word means, but like it's an ED in world. Yeah. Yes, Not it is in that world. That's what uses. that means. But she just means 
purging, purging. Her, her feelings. I've just never heard anyone describe it like I'm purging my feelings. Like, Bleh. sorry, should I button that? Well, isn't that when people do ayahuasca? <laughs> isn't that like when they're all throwing up? Purging their demons. Demons. They say like you're purging your emotions as well as yeah. Like, that does involve throwing up though. So maybe right that... the vom. It's literally purging. <laughs> that yeah, yeah, maybe that's where that meant. Okay, well, whatever. I, I'm not accusing her of anything. I don't. Right. I don't think she's doing anything. I just was struck by the by the verbiage. Emotions are which are confusing to understand even myself sometimes. Doubts? Absolutely not. Fuck yeah. Um, he actually did not get the house. Here's the update on that one. This house. I got something to share with you guys. You know, regarding my living situation, it's been a little complicated and there was like a minor, minor setback. And I know in the end it'll be a, a big comeback. They saw his credit report. <laughs> They're like two lawsuits, one bankruptcy. Up. I'm not down with this. You know, so it's a little, just a little minor setback, but you know everything's working out, and uh, I'm getting ready to show it to you guys. And everyone's really confused because That's he it. was showing. Oh, when did he say? I mean, I know he said it, but did he say it there? No longer had. He just his said house. his minor setback. I got something to share with you guys. You know, regarding my living situation, it's been a little complicated and. There was like a minor, minor setback. He did say somewhere that he didn't get the house, but okay, whatever. Now we're into the RV, uh, the RV era. Now my theory on this, I think they got divorced. And I think in this first chapter, Austin is being his, he's being his pathetic self. And then he starts to see like, oh, if I play this up, this could be good. And also it shields his ego when he starts playing it up. Then he gets to be like, I did all this stuff on purpose. Mm. And he doesn't have to feel like a giant loser because he's, he's playing it up. <clears throat> Even though there's probably a lot of truth behind the shtick. <laughs> so we're in the RV. Austin says the sprinklers are getting his new house all wet. Let's take a look. Never before seen RV era tick, uh, are you snaps. Are kidding me, bro? <clears throat> you do his property I'm on right now? His sprinklers just turned on? And it's wet in my whole new house. I just got this washed. I mean, he's kid. He goes, the this dude's property. Who I'm on? <laughs> <laughs> Me, bro. He's, this dude's property. I'm on right he's now. He's doing shit right now. Just turned on, and it's wet in my whole new house. I just got this washed. Bro, you know when one thing after another just keeps happening to you. I feel like that right now. Like this shit is so. <laughs> That's got to be shtick. It has yeah. to be. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you got a little water on your RV. It's it's not a setback. You know. Austin says he thinks it's funny. People thought he was pretending to be sick so he wouldn't have to move out. Let's take a look. He's aware. He's self-aware. Uh-oh. People don't know this about me, but like, I'm on social media, but I'm not on social media. Let me explain. True. So, whenever I post on social media with whatever it is, I post and I don't look at it. Like, if you know me or around me, you'll know that I'll create content. And that's that. Like, I won't stay on my phone and look at my phone and so on and so forth. So, Ray, my right hand, as you guys know, the other day, he, he came to me and was like, Hey, bro, did you see what someone said? And lately, obviously, people have been saying all types of shit, right? <laughs> What'd you say? What'd they say the other day? Because I was sick. They got you on there when you posted about when you were sick, waking up from where were you? Like in the shower, and they got you with your what was that like a hair hair net? <laughs> and they got you looking like, <laughs> like you didn't want to get out the house because you were sick. So what they said? So like they're at this point they're just taking anything. Like, right, of course. You can be in the car, you can be here. You can, this this might even go viral. Yeah, right. Yeah, it is. Seem, like looking down bad, like. They but what they say though, they said they said Austin doesn't want to leave, leave the house. So like, he's, he's acting like he's sick. <laughs> <laughs> when I heard that, that was the funniest shit ever because I could really see someone doing that type of shit. No, but seriously, I thought uh -huh. it was the funniest thing because I could really see like people doing that type of shit. Like imagine I was really acting like I was sick, so I didn't have to move out. Like that sounds crazy. Bro, sure this is not this that. is so meta. This has become <laughs> This is artistic at this yeah, point. Right. I mean, this. By the way, have you ever seen anyone on this earth with that haircut? No. Just him. 
It's a truly. It's the double double hairline. I mean, give him give it up for originality. Mm-hmm. Right. He's got a hairline, and he li- he's down to show it off. <laughs> it's almost like he he doesn't want to commit to the the curly hair because he he wants people to know that he still has a hairline, and so he does he wants to eat his cake and have it too, as right. the, as the saying goes. <clears throat> Very good. I don't know. Do you think he's kidding in this one? His assistant's in on it. I, I'm so lost. Like when when you get to the final chapter, <laughs> I am just by the third final arc of this, I just don't know what the fuck is going on anymore. <laughs> yeah. So hey, let's keep going. Uh, <clears throat> Austin is pissed that the heater broke in his RV. All right, Snapchat fam, giving you guys a quick little update. I'm gonna be honest. I'm a little pissed off because, as you guys know, I just got this RV and the heater's not working. <clears throat> I've been living in there for only a few nights and I've been freezing my ass off. Like, my nipples are like candy corns. <laughs> um, Never so heard I'm that. I have people <laughs> doing work on it right now. Hopefully, it won't take long, but I did reach out to one of my boys to see. Can you If he's in the street running AC from his camper, that's got to be gas-powered, right? I mean, it should be so fucking loud. Yeah. Like a gas-powered generator. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, blasting a yeah, heater. <laughs> Unless he has <laughs> all like night. electrical setup from that from Catherine's house. That'd be crazy. <laughs> That'd be crazy. <clears throat> um. So now that the RV, the heater doesn't work at the RV. <clears throat> so now we're moving on to a new chapter. This is never before seen. Uh, just is chapter three, post RV. Austin McBroom. Worth mentioning again. As we question the validity of all this, he did get busted really bad for being in Catherine's bed. Like, we can't look past that. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Where does that fit in the timeline? That would be interesting to know, A.B. Um, let, me, let me refresh. It's, it was on Reddit. Let me... That would be good. That would be good. So here he is. Um, thank you. He's staying now with a celebrity couple he's friends with. Daryl Dwayne, DDG, Grandberry Jr. That's a long name. Daryl Dwayne Grandberry Jr. A Grandberry? Okay, uh-huh. I want one of those. I like uh-huh. berries. I never had a Grandberry. And Haley Bailey. Yeah. Violet, you're turning Violet, Violet. Hallie Bailey. Mm-hmm. Cool names. So who are these people? I don't know anything about them. Um, She's a little mermaid. Yeah, she was the new Little Mermaid. Okay. And he's a rapper and her boyfriend and they have a newborn baby. Okay. And they're they're both successful, so they're doing well, I assume. Mm-hmm. She yeah. She more so a bit than him, but yeah. Yeah, that's like an A list role she got. Yeah, for real. And is she is she still acting and stuff, like getting roles? Uh she does music. She just gave birth, so I don't know if got she's it. working right now. So now Austin is going and staying with them. Uh, who just had a newborn baby, and the shtick that goes on here is hard to believe, but let's take a look. Oh, this damn shit. Got you a little, little gift, too, for looking out for me, bro. Oh, shit. I got this, you got that for me. Cool. Congrats on the baby, by the way, too. Appreciate to you and your lady, man. Can't believe you are a dad now. This, there's no way he walked in and didn't have these conversations with him before filming. Right. No way. Yeah, you'll see all the ads in this, and you'll see why he's stretching it out. It is insane how many ads he has. God, I'm so jealous. <laughs> My day would be so interesting <laughs> if I could do that. That's what I'm saying. You, hey, you, guys, what's up? I'm live on the podcast right now talking about Austin McBroom. Okay. If you had a doctor's Paid. appointment, you'd, you'd stretch it out if, if you were thinking in those uh, terms. That's how I I'm, would, but the, prep, the, the preposition that I'm doubting is... The amount of pre-planning well, that no, went into it. That's what I'm saying. It, it wasn't pre-planned. Like, like this appointment that I have tomorrow, I scheduled like a month ago. So he didn't know, but it just happened to line up with his day. So he just he used it. That I believe. Yeah. That, yeah. I, that I believe. That's what I'm kind of thinking too. He just does does the best of his situation. Yeah. That yeah. that that I believe. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. You know, I've been to this thing like three times. You want to double up the hype, <laughs> right now? <laughs> Matching your first deposit, gambling, 
Fucking hell. They just, they, they, they do gambling ads like that on Snapchat? Hell yeah, baby. No wonder they're getting so much money. <laughs> it's funny because they have to have a bunch of kids on that app, too. I, I from what I understand, swing. it's predominantly kids. It's illegal to promote gambling to kids swing. in a lot of countries. Well, I'm yeah, and America. that's why YouTube doesn't do it. If you know, if we could get some gambling ads pre rolls, that'd be great. <laughs> yeah, come on, man. I'll be like, I didn't run it. I didn't. You know, know. CPM's probably great on that <laughs> yeah. shit. You know, fuck yeah. Fuck. A hundred dollars. Let's get it, y'all. And who is this guy? I don't know. Let's get it. But I want to do prize pick. <laughs> I want to get it. Yeah. Let's call this guy up. What's he? What's this necklace say? <laughs> Madden <laughs> God. 114 Madden God. <laughs> God, God Madden. Can we research him? I'm curious. Well, that's a video game, no? Madden. Uh, One for, well, the football game. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, he's a gamer? Okay, we love that. <laughs> yeah. Gamers Unite. Oh, yeah. By the way, I'm kidding about I'm being silly about all the working with sponsors, uh, gambling sponsors and stuff, you guys. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I found a video of him gaming. I've never seen this before. He's playing Madden in front of a full green screen and just standing straight up as he's playing. <laughs> <laughs> he Let would do that. that. He would do that. For the record, I am continuously always turning down gambling sponsors. And they pay a lot. So... I need the Max Ween. I need the Max Ween. <laughs> that is the point. I've never seen that. <laughs> Wait, I don't see it. <laughs> oh oh, I'm in the wrong channel. Hang on. Oh my god, dude, that is the funniest shit I've seen. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a four, four year old. <laughs> it looks like he's trying to pretend that he's on the field. Dude, that is so Mom funny. Mom said it's funny. my turn on the Xbox. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> oh, that's funny. How many people are watching? You should move it so the people can oh, okay. see Okay. Wait, do people watch this guy? Uh, this is a Facebook video. It has one share. Um, <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that's sick that he got that sponsor then. That is so funny. That's a huge opportunity probably. Uh, it says he on <laughs> Facebook he has 240k follows. It's not nothing. He's just a Facebook guy? I love him. I kind of love but him. But only the one share. You know, he's just doing his thing. Facebook did. Okay, well, I'm happy for him. Yeah. We love him. First deposit, 100% yes. up to $100. You're probably going to have to skip these unless you want to watch them all the way through. Nah. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> you know why I'm here. Need me advice. I got you. Oh, shit. It's getting hot. Damn. All right, y'all. Sheesh. All this stuff. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. So many ads. Yeah, at, at some point you should start the whole video from the beginning and just kind of skip through for a sec. Not right now, but to just to see how many. It's insane. Wow. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, good looking out. I was hoping. Wouldn't it be cool when you're, we, we could just be like, hey, AI, can you just make a super cut and count on the screen how many ads there were in this? Because it's an hour, 10 minutes. I'm not going to ask Cam to do that. Well, Love showed me a cool feature in Adobe that will split up by the scene changing. And I oh, mean, that makes it a little that is easier. Cool. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I saw that. That's good. That's great. That's a I cool use that feature. So much for yeah. social clips. So here is the, the. Oh my God. So <laughs> they set him up with an air mattress in an empty guest room. Oh, yeah. It's got a suitcase. Oh, good looking out. I was hoping you had a little match or something. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, y'all. It's a nice room. A little view. You see, he got a basketball court out here. You know, I'm gonna be hoping that while I'm here. Oh, yeah, I gotta go down there. Oh, yeah, this survive. Yeah, you know, I've got a full room. So, okay. If we're saying this whole thing is fake, let's examine the room, okay? Because there's a lot going on here. He, there's a ton of shoes there up against the wall. That, that's some effort. Jeez. All this stuff. Yeah. Oh, good looking out. Oh, wait, no. Okay, they he, he hasn't been in here yet. He hasn't been in this room yet. Allegedly, yeah. Yeah, okay. So it's not his shoes. Oh, yeah, they survive. I've got a full room. 
He didn't go to college. He didn't go to college, but he does now. Apparently, he's going back to college. That's another arc. I'm skipping this shit. He didn't go. Oh my god. Oh my god. What's happening? Oh my god. Leave me alone. Didn't go to college, guy. Good. All right, now. That air mattress reminds me of when AB got robbed. And then he moved into his cousins and had that air mattress out. Oh, the same exact air mattress, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Uh, it popped. Oh, so no. Yeah, it wasn't that great. <laughs> I slept on an air mattress one time in my life, and it was just horrible. Like, I don't know if there are good ones or. <laughs> it was really bad. Yeah. When when I first got my apartment here in America, I slept on one for t probably three weeks. <laughs> they kept infl deflating. You have to fill it up every day. No, in the middle of the night. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. what the fuck? What I don't know that they, there is even possible to hold the air through the night. No, so I had to like turn on the thing. It was like, <laughs> half half awake. So horrible. Ugh, man. <laughs> Life is hard. They have better ones. I feel like now. Be, well, some of them. We got one for our nieces in Michigan, and it that one holds. So the technology's getting there. Yeah, we have we have AI mattresses wow. now. They figure it out. Hey y'all. Um. Damn, I don't know if I brought too much stuff. I don't know. See, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I don't know how long I'm gonna stay here. Um, hopefully, it ain't long. Like, I don't want to overstep my boundary. You know what I mean? Um, but I gotta check in with. He didn't go to college. Leave, dude, leave me alone. <laughs> I never asked for a raise. I get it. No, he worked hard. Do they do this where they serve you the same ad over and over and over again? Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> he didn't go to college. So interesting enough, I made a new Snapchat account to watch. Yeah, that was my old. Looks Snapchat. nice, cozy. <laughs> that was me after I got robbed. Yeah, but um, I made a new Snapchat account to watch his videos, and I got no ads. So they must not feed them to you if it's a new account. Oh. Uh, yeah. Well, get you hooked. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah. Hmm. So they're like super targeted, mm -hmm. which means they're more expensive. And also on that new account, my first recommended account was Austin. That you told me last mm, time. That's yeah. incredible. That yeah. isn't, that's something. God. RV and see um, how long it's going to take for them to fix the heater because I not want to be in there another night with it being so free. I don't understand because you know how cold it is right now in LA. He, he's not wrong. There, it was super cold there for a few days. Like a f it was, so you know. Maybe he's telling the truth. <laughs> I can't have that again. Um, so I'm gonna check in with them in a little bit. In the meantime, I'm about to show you guys what he didn't, he didn't go, go to college. <laughs> I know, <laughs> man. <laughs> never asked. All right, let me watch this ad. Now I'm curious. He never asked for a raise. You don't know he what he's talking raise. about. Are you ready for the twist? Oh, I got skipped. Is that a political ad? Uh, it's kind of, in a sense, it is. So I'm with them. I'm you haven't seen those? No, I don't know what it is. He's what? talking about Jesus Christ, my dude. No way. Yep. Jesus Christ is running ads on Snapchat? He didn't go to college. That's why it's so annoying getting this footage, because it's not re-uploaded anywhere, and it just plays, and the ad will <laughs> continue to be longer if you don't skip it. So you can't even just, like, leave your phone and record it. <laughs> All right. Jesus was rich. Hegat, Hegatbis, Hegatbis .com. He gets us, all of us. <laughs> Hegatbis. He gets us dot com. <laughs> He's repeating that in one oh. <laughs> He gets us dot com. Hegatbis. Hegatbis. He gets us dot com. They could like capitalize the first letter or something. <laughs> and it looks like a word. I mean, it's got the vowels in the right spot. Hegatbis. You get this. I get it. <laughs> so Jesus didn't go to college. Yeah, he was born like what, two fucking two thousand years ago. I mean, what do you mean by that? He didn't go to UCLA. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't get in. Uh huh. I never asked for a raise. He didn't wear. Also, what is this? He never asked for a raise. Like, I'm sorry. You're talking to working class people. You're like, hey, no, you loser should be asking for a raise. Yeah, Jesus shut didn't. up. Just don't ask for a raise. <laughs> what is that? Also, what? Do we know that? Is that verifiable? Who's to say Jesus never got a raise? Yeah. He may have. In, he's a carpenter. He probably I mean, worked there's hard. There's inflation back Wait, then. I'll bet did, you he worked didn't hard. Didn't he rise? 
He did. Mm-hmm. He, ro- he, he raised he himself. He raised, all right. He, he rose. rose himself. He asked himself for a raise. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he raised himself, brother. So true. I guess you can ask yourself for a raise. That doesn't violate the rules of capitalism. He, he risked. <laughs> he never asked for a raise. He never complained to his boss about nothing. When his boss sent him nudes, he never said a word. It's like, whoa, what are, you, what are we doing here? This scene feels like a hidden agenda in this ad. Okay, we've seen enough, baby. Yeah. The next part, he plays some basketball. Oh, and he wears his friend's shoes, by the way. That's gross. He's wearing these Balenciaga shoes that are, like, uh, elevated, which aren't smart to play basketball <coughs> in. All right, so we saw the air mattress. Fortnite. Here he is. He goes in that backyard to shoot hoops. Wasn't he a semi-pro oh, basketball player? That was his thing, right? I think college. Yeah, college. I think college. So, I mean, that, that's a big deal, playing in college. Balenciaga. So here he is. College. Good question. Jesus didn't go to college. <laughs> Idiot. He's, Jesus didn't play he's basketball. He's the biggest deal. He did not play basketball. Jesus, he gets us. Christ. <laughs> he gets us. I, Jesus turned a basketball into a loaf of bread, dude. Mid shot, and it was a three pointer. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. He goes, he turned Kobe. that air ball into a three. That's right. He goes, Kobe. Phew. And everybody in the crowd saw it midair, turned into a loaf of bread, all nothing but net. Boom. From half court. That's insane, dude. The bread, bomb. Hollow bread. Soft, <laughs> tasty. Uh huh. It's a whole, it was a he beautiful occasion. Oh, it was a miracle. Was one, and when one, I ate that hollow bread, I just thought to myself, man, this guy gets me. He, he sure does. Come on right now in the name of Jesus. Come it's, on right now in the name of Jesus. It's one of the great miracles. There's Lazarus, and then Lazarus. there's, and then there's the, the half court bread shot. <laughs> what I'm sick. telling y'all right now. Yeah, these shoes are absolutely ridiculous. It looks like he's wearing clogs, and you can hear them too. They sound heavy. <laughs> okay, now. Okay, now that was not fake. Are you sure? I watched it, and I'll show you. This man twisted his ankle hard. You can see it. He, he did not fake that. I let's see. Let's I see have it. some other information. Mm. Hold on. Oh, before you. Well, let's look at the okay. video. Okay, go ahead. With this a- accusation. Okay, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, no way! That's a- he rolled his ankle, how can you say otherwise? No. Is not. What? Mm, <laughs> He's pulling his It's coming straight out. out of the back. Oh shit, that yeah. does yeah. kind of- He's pulling his foot out. Now, I'll tell you why. If you- if you just go- It does look like a mistake, but I don't think his ankle rolls here. Okay. If you he go saw back, an opportunity and he ran. I want to go- it, dep- it depends. Depends. If you go it's back hard. a few minutes, he sets this all up. He he picks out the shoes and like, whoa, I'm like two feet taller than these. And like, he's talking about the shoes. And then his dumbass goes and plays <laughs> basketball <laughs> in lifted shoes. My shit is wet. I mean, he knows how to tell a story. Right yeah. L- listen to the sound when he runs over in these. Straight up clogs. I'm just telling y'all right now. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it depends where his foot. It's kind of hard to tell where his foot's aiming. I want to do a soundtrack. If to it's your feet. if it's aiming like forward, yeah, could be a fake roll. Definitely fake. Fake. He shows a close up of his ankle. Maybe we could roll it. He didn't even twist his ankle. <laughs> if he says he hurt his ankle there, that's yeah. What, I, shit. what I've worn. So like when I wear my high uh, heel Crocs. <laughs> it's really fucking easy for those things to go sideways. So, and in the role, I believe I don't believe that this was intentional. Oh, damn, big ass shoes. Fucking Balenciaga, some bullshit. Oh, bro, your and shoes, bro. Fucking messed up my ankle. Damn, boy. You got some ice or something? Messed my ankle up, bro. Shit. Hold the phone. He's not talking to anyone, is he? Oh, he is. I think I got my shit swollen, bro. Turkish Airlines. Damn it, Turkish Airlines. Oh, yeah, boy. Uh, there's nothing going on. I've never seen him. 
Look at my shit, fool. My shit, red. You got some ice or something? I mean, yeah. If he did roll it, it wouldn't be swollen already, would it? No, I yeah, didn't. It would look it's full fine. of shit. Damn, boy. <laughs> Why is he dick? He caressed his leg there. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> look how he look how he pulls Damn, it up. Boy. Look at that. <laughs> Pretty. <laughs> Pretty. Was that a joke? See, it's, it's uh, just uh, playing it off, being uh, weird. Like, look at this. <laughs> what? Uh, see them shoes of this court. Damn. All right. And now he's just bitching about his ankle nonstop. Yep. So mad right now. I was getting buckets too. Ah, oh, this shit hurt. According to Abba and Preach, Austin edited in this music, by the way. Mm -hmm. So we, so whatever we're say about him, he, it's his fault. Oh man, I just got done being sick. Now oh, I hurt twisting my damn. In English. Oh my god, bro. All right, should I keep watching or move on? Oh, um, Chad's saying that's the wrong foot. No Is that way. right? Or maybe because the camera's flipped, it looks different. He's not that dumb. Yeah, I don't think It seemed like the right foot to me. Hold on, let me think about it. Well, I see what they're saying. Because if, hold on. Okay, he rolled his, oh, it's his right foot. He rolled his right foot. Mm-hmm. And when he's sitting down, he seems to be actually caressing his left foot, right? That's what it looks like. That's his left foot. Am I missing something? <sighs> Unless he took it on selfie cam. Is it something with the camera being mirrored? Yeah, I don't know. Could it's... it be flipped? Well, the text is flipped on his <sighs> shirt. When he goes... Is it? Yeah. yeah. yeah shoes. Fucking... See? So... <laughs> he's not using that camera. Right. <laughs> yeah, he is caressing the wrong foot. Well, right. he could have taken this one with selfie cam too. Can we see the, anything? The basketball. So it could be his left foot. Oh yeah, he is. You're right. Yeah. I yeah. guess it's inconclusive. No, it's true, Olivia. Yeah, you go. That's you right. Go. Yeah, I think so. Let's go. Look, the text is backwards. Yeah. So then it is the right foot. Yeah. Okay. What do we do, AB? Should I move on? You can move on. Cam sent uh, further analysis. Excellent. Thank you, Cam. Let me see what we got. <clears throat> This is actually from um, Douglas275. It's when uh, Jesus straight fucking stunted on the devil <laughs> with an assist from Austin McBroom. It wasn't college ball, though. Divine. It's God. It's God league. He actually tore Satan's head off, threw it in the basket from half court. It turned into a fucking <laughs> turned into a fish. A lot of y'all just love to just to like hold our ball sack. You know what I mean? <laughs> no. What? We just love to hold our ball hold sack. Hold our ball sack. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, you can move on to the next. What's point. this art? Where, what the fuck is this? I don't know. That's a famous meme. Oh, it is. Yeah, that's awesome. Of some weird painting. Well, that's exactly what I was imagining. Like when it comes judgment time. It's not going to be the Riders of the Apocalypse. It's not going to be Hellfire. It's going to be one on one, God versus Satan. Half, you know what I mean? Full court. First to 11 points. Blood boiling. That's how the, our fate will be decided. Thank you. Can't wait. A lot of y'all just love to just See like, the game? hold our ball set. Can't wait. <laughs> Here he is being asked to turn down his music because they have a newborn baby who's trying to sleep. Yeah, this TikTok sums it up pretty well because it's this kind of a long. Be this cannot. Oh, she. Okay, so who's this? I want to shout her out. Uh, I'm going to watch her video. Here, I can see it here. It's Becca Day. Becca Day. It's getting worse by the moment. So I just want to like walk you through what this interaction is and then we're going to watch it. I have no idea what is wrong with Austin McBroom, but basically he is in Halle Bailey and DDG's kitchen and he is making himself ramen and DDG comes, <coughs> walks right by him and makes sure to say, hey, make sure to keep it down. The baby sleeping, you know, their brand new baby, fresh from the womb baby. So what does Austin do? He walks around and turns on music. 
EDG's like, bro, what are you doing? And Austin McBroom is like, oh, my bad. But then cut to the next slide. Austin McBroom is talking about how the baby's crying and you can hear Hallie and DDG's baby crying in the background of these Snapchats. <laughs> I mean, dude, there's no way this is real. I've seen these ones and it's like, there's no way. But there is a baby, a real baby crying. Yeah. And there is a real baby in that house. Yes. Let's see. This man is living on top ramen. Holy shit. Ooh. Yum. I love Top Ramen, but... Yeah, what's wrong with that? that I mean, that's like the epit That's like the <laughs> no, symbol of... Right. Oh, yeah. Single life. Mm-hmm. Doesn't get better than that. 99 cents, baby. 99 cents? No? That's way overpaying. Oh, for real? They're like 39 cents? Well, I don't know. Like, I, when I used to buy it in bulk in, like, college and was, like, <laughs> living off of it, it was, like, 20 cents per one of those. That is suspicious. <laughs> 45 cents at Target. Oh, inflation. Thanks, yeah. Joe Brandon. I have grown up with Mega Man. Yeah, it's true. 45 cents. Mega Man the Top so Ramen. Fuck. Yeah. All right, go ahead, Austin. Can you still bump for me? <laughs> you want a high, medium, low key? I like my shit. Why is he asking him? How he wants his flame. Does Austin, is he not allowed to touch yeah, the stovetop? Light my shit. <laughs> Isn't he sick? He seems fine now. He's fine. I don't know. I don't know how much time passed. Okay. Uh, just it, because like newborn babies, you need to be careful. Uh, yeah. The you sick don't want to before baby. the RV arc, right? I, I think With, that was. I mean, was it the RV arc only a few days? Snapchat only lasts 24 hours. That's all that matters. He's he a new man. Seen it. Everything right. matter. Matter. It's a new cycle. Yeah. No it. shot he doesn't know how to make ramen. You gotta put, I think you gotta put water in it first. Yeah, you're, what are you gonna fry it? <laughs> gotta put water in Boil it. Boil it. Boil it. 30 years That's old. That's a lot of water. He's 30 years old and he just had to be reminded to put water in his ramen. I'm trying to keep a little quiet for the baby's sleep. Alright, school. I got you. You heard the man. I got three key. I went through this whole process. Boil it. He said he went through the process of cooking ramen three times? No, he had <laughs> no. three kids. Oh, he has, he said, I have three kids. Yeah, he's been, he, yeah, he knows the deal. He knows the deal. But clearly he doesn't. Yeah, he wasn't taking care of them. Well, he might have been, because this is not real. There's no way. I have to uh, mute it here. So he's playing copyrighted music. Yeah. Okay. And... Give me just a touch of it for a second so we can see how loud is it. Oh, it's pretty loud. Okay. Man, how long does it take Blood to boiling? cook? You cook ramen in like one minute. Boiling. <laughs> boiling. Uh, it's going, the music is playing, I don't know what's happening. You can start to hear the baby. Give me some audio, let's see. He just told you the baby's sleeping. Why is he telling the world that this baby is crying? <laughs> How many days do you guys think it? Okay, he's like, yeah, the baby's crying. No way. This is all phony baloney. This whole kitchen scene. Yeah. It's obvious. I still think his ass is divorced, though. I really do. Yeah, I'm willing to go along on the on the conspiracy up to a point of you know him playing into playing all this up and everything, but she's definitely leaving him. I, I'm still that's what I think. That yeah. like she, she is sure. ready to move on. Yeah, she posted a snap yesterday showing a bunch of. Uh... Actually, let me type it in chat. I don't know if I could say it. Bunch of uh, adult boys. Catherine showed a bunch of dildos. Vibrators, yeah. <laughs> For real? Like she showed like here's my personal collection. No, she was like at a store and she's like, oh, I'm just I'm just uh, wanted to record this to show somebody. I forgot who she said that this is a thing. But it will fit my favorite timing. dildo perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. 
So what? She's shopping because she's she's not. What, what's the implication? I mean, everyone has their eyes on them in the divorce, and she's posting snaps of a bunch of dildos or a bunch of vibrators. I mean, I, I don't know exactly. Married women use vibrators? Yeah, they don't usually post the, uh, them shopping for them. No. <laughs> no. No, they really don't. Not. Certainly a, pri- a private or, or I affair. I got a new strap, ho- strap on harness. Today. Senator, please. Whoa there, Bucko. I can't wait to have your cock in my mouth. Mr. Kennedy. Jesus Christ, that is vulgar. And I began to slide into him from behind. Okay, contain yourself, sir. <clears throat> That's disgusting. Shame on looks so hot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, how many days do you guys think it will be before uh, Halle Bailey kicks this man? Oh, so she wrote that. Yeah, we can move on to the next link. It will be before Halle Bailey kicks this man <laughs> to the curb. <laughs> or maybe this one, maybe both of them. Okay. <clears throat> is there a consensus out in the wild that this is all fake? Like, I what? Think it's we- starting to turn that way. I mean, certainly when we saw the screenshot of him uh, in the bed the other day is when questions started to really be raised, but... As we're about to see, it his behavior is becoming so obviously shtick that it's impossible to deny at this point. <laughs> All right, well, let's continue. Um, we could go to CVS right here. Moving on to a CVS showdown. I saw now. I caught this one. This one was pretty interesting. Uh, he's shopping at CVS, and one of the cashiers oh, recognizes him, and it turns into an altercation. Actually, if you can believe that. Let's listen. Aren't you living in an RV? Uh, have a blessed day. What? Aren't you living in an RV? Yeah, I am, bro. You're talking under your breath. Shit. Yeah. That's crazy. That's yeah. Bad. I'm living in an RV. Is that a problem? No, I was just wondering. Cause, uh, like, you be talking some crazy stuff right now. I was just wondering. Oh, yeah. I was talking because a lady cut me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can't live in an RV. No, you can't. He's talking shit about me because I'm living in an RV. That's crazy. That's crazy. And he's working at CVS. That is crazy. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Bye. I'm living in an RV. Bye. I mean, he seems mad. Seems mad. Seems a little mad there. <laughs> but know. also, is this not... Why does the guy at CVS know who Austin McBroom is? What do you mean? He's famous. People recognize me at the grocery Aren't store. Aren't you the guy who lives in an RV? I mean, that's I guess pretty funny. Maybe, yeah, I mean, it I was guess. floated he could be a fan of ours. <laughs> that, that was my theory, yeah. I, <laughs> Don't C- you live in an RV? Guy, if if you're in the audience, oh my god, they could settle it. Mm. If he's like, yeah, that was a real interaction, then right, that could do something, right? Okay. I saw people saying he's not even at their cash register. So let's see if we can make an assessment of if he's at the right spot. Oh, Perfect. Thank you so much, sir. Appreciate cool. it. And then All right, got it. Oh, he got cut by this lady. He's at the front. You can see all the goodies there. But this this whole lady cutting him, this is another one of those situations where it's just probably a lady in line. He's like, all right, more content. For sure, for sure. She just cut me? She just cut me. <laughs> Wait, he's kind of funny. You Why know, is he kind of funny? <sighs> Maybe, like, he's still a scammer and all that, but... Cut you off. In reality... It's not... Y'all got scammed? Sorry, cut you off. Are you thinking about bridges right now, sir? He never said... He sir, never done me wrong. dreams about arches? He never... Suspension uh, bridges? Uh, hey, Austin never, you know, no crossed the line with me. I will say he gave me similar vibes to other streamers, like where I watch and then like to comment on them, and then I just kind of like, okay, I kind of see the entertainment in this. I think he just needs to be on Twitch or something, and then uh, he- Twitch, dude, dude, he'll make like a hundredth of the revenue he's doing <laughs> right, on Snap. I think he's killing it with this. God knows how much he's making from this man. It's insane. Right, I'll call the manager over and just give me. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Oh, it's your turn? Yeah. Oh. I mean, he was helping me. Oh. Yeah, give me just one second. I got you. Oh. Now, hold on, though. Do we really think he recruited this lady and the cashier the old, to participate in this yeah. bit? 
Oh, maybe not. I don't know. Oh. I just need a little excitement in my life. Oh, it's your turn? Yeah. Oh. I mean, you can see her, a, a glimpse of her hair here. No, I don't think he recruited any of these people. No, I think he's... So he went and cut in front of her. Yeah, that's her. You can see the glasses. You can see the hair. Mm. There she is. I caught her. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, it's your turn? Yeah. Oh. I mean, he was helping. Oh. Yeah, you been just one second. Oh, she just cut. So, but then... So it sounds like she didn't cut in front. He actually cut her. He cut her. Yeah. But now I'm also oh, hearing hey. the cashier, who seems to be really helping her, a real person. Right. So this is, this is kind of looking real at this moment. Yeah. Go away! Oh, okay, yeah, you go ahead. You go ahead. Like this, he's doing shtick here, but I think the situation might be real. Okay, have a blessed day. <laughs> yeah. Alright, y'all got the beds, got the nasty shit out the way. Thank you, bro. Now she's having problems at the front. <laughs> you have to have this one. Karma's a bitch. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god. What happened there? The he was just checking out, wasn't he? Yeah. Okay. My understanding is this is two different ladies. The first lady who he claimed cut him was an older lady, and then he cut a lady behind him. Different cutting incidents? Yes. Two paid actors. She cut me? Oh. Hmm. I don't know if what's going on. Because if you go, if you go a little bit Oh, it's your turn? Further Wait, just back. Little, it, huh. Okay, yeah, you go ahead. You go ahead. Oh, oh my god, he's so scary a, when he's like that. <laughs> now here's his friend, so I mean... You could have a blessed day. <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all got the beds. Okay, so he's at the cashier. He's buying got this the stuff. Got shit out the way. Thank you, bro. There was obviously no, a cut there, at least. There's a hard cut here. Yeah. Like yeah. That, that could be <coughs> right an undeclosed amount like, hey, of time. Can you, can you just say to me, aren't you the guy that lives in an RV? Right there is when it could happen. Could be. But, I mean, imagine you're at CVS and you're buying three items. That takes That interaction takes 10 seconds. You don't have time to turn around the phone and then film a bit where you're whispering and shit. Unless the guy's like, are you Austin McBroom? No, I'm a huge fan. And he's like, oh, word. He's like, cool, cool. Hey, do something for me. Say, you live in a van. That could be. Random as fuck. That seems plausible. We need to acquire yeah. the security team. Now she's having problems at the front. <laughs> you have to have this one. My karma's a bitch. Yeah, and then yeah. they'll send you the, the barcode where you scan it. She's having problems. She's just an old lady. There is something happening at customer uh, service, for sure, that he's capitalized on. Her card isn't working. <laughs> That's what she gets. Oh, no, thank you. That's what she gets for cutting me. Aren't you living in an RV? Uh, have a blessed day. What? Aren't you living in an RV? Yeah, I am, bro. You're talking under your breath. Shit. Okay, hold on. He might not even be at... I don't think he's even trying to say he's at the cashier. Something's... This is happening somewhere else. Hmm. And like someone just cruised up to him. No, it's the cashier because in the next shot, I believe the guy's outside, it looks like. No, that's the lady. I don't think so. Watch. I don't That's think what so. he, he's near customer service overhearing the conversation. And then someone cruises up to Thanks him. Thanks for cutting me. <laughs> Aren't you living in an RV? Uh, have a blessed day. What? Aren't you living in an RV? <laughs> the way his head snaps. <laughs> <laughs> this shit's funny, man. I think it might be real. Oh, you think it might be real now? But the oh, way wow. his head snaps the is so funny. Have a blessed day. What? Aren't you living <laughs> Because he's saying that because he is being annoying to the lady. He's saying, oh, this lady's credit card isn't working. But, and then it's like karma. And then the cashier says, aren't you living in an RV? Why are you shit talking this lady? That's or, how I see it. Or, or it could be, I do think whoever said that was overhearing him. Yeah. like that, and, But it could have not been at the cashier. Maybe it's someone with her. I don't know. Living in an RV. Yeah, I am, bro. It is the cashier. Yeah. He says, enjoy working yeah. at CVS. Later mm, on. He he's says, an employee. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I'm living in the RVs. Is that a problem? No, I was just wondering. Because, uh, like, you be talking some crazy stuff right now. I was just wondering. Oh, yeah, I was talking. Hmm? Just if you, you can't really make it out. If you go back. Yeah, like, Love's, Love's right. He's like, because you you were talking some big shit. I think yeah. Says, yeah. That's crazy. That's yeah. Bad. I'm living in the RV. Is that a problem? No, I was just wondering. Uh, like, you've been talking some crazy stuff right now. I was just wondering. He said you've been talking what? Some crazy stuff right yeah. now. <laughs> so he, just he did overhear the, him talking about the lady. 
Oh man, this is really intriguing. So he's actually being confronted by a hater. I can't, I don't know on this one. I, I feel like it could go either way. This one has to be real because of the lady. <laughs> this can't be. This is script. way too like choreographed. No, but this yeah. this confrontation could be a plant, dude. How is this not right. a joke? Look how his head snaps out over. It's like got the it's back. crazy you funny. Have this one. Karma's a bitch. There's no <laughs> shot that this is a real person. Hmm. This this is a real person in the world reacting like this. I send you the, the barcode where you scan it, and then you Her card isn't working. <laughs> That's what she gets. Oh, no, thank you. That's what she gets for cutting me. Yeah. <laughs> living in an RV? Uh, have a blessed day. What? <laughs> no, he's like completely <laughs> taken off guard of this <laughs> later. It's like hearing him shit talk to this lady and then all of a sudden, aren't you living in a fucking RV? <laughs> His gentle, like, voice when he's speaking to this guy scares the fuck yeah. out of me. Wait, okay. I think I understand what's happening. CVS, they have a counter with multiple cashiers next to each other. Yeah. yeah. So there's a community line. If you've been to like Ross or one of these kinds of stores, there's like a, a C-shaped line. And then from there, you walk up to the counter and there's like three or four next to each other. Yeah. So she cut him and then, or well, whatever, that's what he says. And then she goes to one cashier, he goes to the cashier next to her. Mm -hmm. So there's two different cashiers helping both of them. Mm -hmm. And he, is doing all this shit, and the cashier can overhear. Sorry to cut you off. Right. What's going on next to him? Yeah. So the lady next to him that cut him off, her card isn't working. So he says, Wow, karma for you, lady. Yeah. And then the cashier overhears that. It's like, What do you mean, karma? Talking shit about this old lady. You live in an RV. <laughs> it's like confronting him, talking shit about he was the bullshitting. lady. Bullshitting. Right. Then, no, I, I, I know that's the, the thrust of it. But it's funny that you think this one's real, and because I'm, just I'm torn on this one. Yeah, I know. Because it's just so good. It's, it's so good. fucking good. It's too good. That's the thing. It's too the good. The way it's just he was like, "Wait, what? The, what did you just say?" And he latches onto it directly. It, it's he loves too that. good. Yeah. Yeah, I am, bro. You're talking under your breath. Shit. Yeah. That's crazy. That's yeah. Not, I'm living in an RV. Is that a problem? No, I was just wondering because uh, like you be talking some crazy. Because this is stuff out of character. Not. He's seriously getting offended now and like trying to... He seems mad. Yeah. <laughs> and he never acts good like that. The, another reason is I, this gives me Fousey IRL vibes. Like half the stuff that happened in his streams, I would not believe if I didn't see it live. Like I would never believe any of that shit if it wasn't happening live. And I could see him encountering similar I, I, situations. <laughs> if this was live, that would be a lot easier to tell yeah. if it was real or not. Right. I mean, it'd be very easy to tell, I feel like. Oh yeah, I was talking because a lady cut me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can't live in an RV. No, you can. He's talking shit about me because I'm living in an RV. That's crazy. That's crazy. And he's working at CVS. That is crazy. That's he's mad. Up. That's fucked up. Bye. Now who the fuck's he waving hey, to? Who waves back? She actually waves back. <laughs> no, I think that's an accident too. I think that's just a well, lady. Thinking. That lady waved back. I thought that it was the the employee because of the red shirt. No, it's an old lady. <laughs> yeah, I just think well, that's it's not a, the la it's not the lady that cut him. That's a random lady Bye. thinking he waves to her. Is she waving back to him. Mm. I think she just <laughs> got like, caught Hi. in the crossfire. She's just nice. <laughs> Wait, what? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Hi, I'm. Living oh, in an RV. I don't know if that's Bye. Man. Wait, Bye. no, he's filming her. Bye. He's targeting her. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. What on earth is going on here, man? I'm living in a, I'm living in an RV. This video is going to be great. analyzed that's for crazy. years like the Kennedy assassination. Yeah. <laughs> fucked up. That's fucked up. Bye. I'm living in an RV. Bye. 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 I mean, that's wow. real. He's driving off. Mm -hmm. So who is that lady? Who's that lady? Oh, must be the lady he had a confrontation with. She no, was shopping. That's that's what I was. That's thinking. a guy. But I can't. Oh, it is. I yeah. can't tell Crazy. if it's a guy. He's or working at CVS. I thought crazy. it was a lady. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Bye. Hey, let's go frame by frame. That's here. like a teenager. Oh shit. Yeah. Wait. You're right. Yeah. That's the cashier, I think. There's no. See, that makes me not believe it. Well, who? What CVS employee just wears like a red? Well, they, they might just be oh yeah you know what at CVS or whatever but why yeah. would they follow him out because it's Austin maybe to record it wait he has a phone in his hand he is filming him oh what she would do if he was like you know 
he's obviously hating. Yeah. And so he's filming it. Mm. So he came out to film Austin. If this is real, Austin's having the craziest life ever. I mean, this is bananas. But uh, that kid needs a post it if it is. Mm-hmm. We need, definitely, we need that video. So he's filming him, and so Austin's acting up. RV, bye, 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 I'm living in an RV. I'm so sorry. Okay, ah, wow. That's a tough one. If it is, if it's all real, he orchestrated all that in such a masterful way. Okay, I was watching the video back. Can we go back in the CVS for one more time? Oh my gosh, we're going back in. One, this is the Zapruder film. <laughs> Alright, just give me the exact timestamp so I'm not okay. floundering around. It's 44 seconds. I'm sorry, 44 minutes. 44 exactly. Okay, I got you. Right here. <laughs> That's what she gets. Oh, no, thank you. That's what she gets for cutting me. Aren't you living in an RV? Uh, have a blessed day. What? Aren't you living in an RV? Yeah, I am, bro. Does it look like he's mouthing out, aren't you living in an RV? That's what I was going to say earlier, but I didn't want to say He went after he says what. He, yeah. like, says the first two words, but it might be that his, like, mind is echoing what he heard, but... Let me watch. It, it is an let, interesting... Let me watch. Let me watch. So, no, thank you. That's what she gets for cutting me. Yeah. <laughs> living in an RV? I didn't... I no, didn't no, 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 it didn't happen after. yet. It's about to happen. Uh, have a blessed day. What? Aren't you living in an RV? Yeah. See, he went RV. Oh, no. I think that's... That does look weird, It was weird, just an echo in his brain. I think... He's, he's mouthing the other actor's uh, lines. If you go... Yeah, people, I think it's just a coincidence. Herman, dude. It's just a coincidence. That's okay, go, to, just, go back to 44 seconds. Go a little bit before Herman. This. It looks like he nudges to the left, like... <laughs> Watch, like, like, say your line. Send you the, the barcode Watch. where you scan it, and then you Her card isn't working. That's what she gets. Oh, no, thank you. That's what she gets for cutting me. Wait, wait. Yeah. Right there. Nah. I mean, it's possible, but I don't think it's conclusive. Same with the How mouth thing. Aren't you living in an RV? Yeah. It, 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 I think it's just a coincidence. It looks yeah, like it. You're right. Aren't you living in an RV? Uh, have a blessed day. What? Aren't you living in an RV? Yeah. Like, nah. Yeah, when it's zoomed in. It's a coincidence. I mean, I, I agree. Okay. There's no such thing as a coincidence. Thank you. Thank you yeah, for saying so. so. I can't live in an RV. He's working there. All right, it's so here's his, now he's apologizing to the CVS kid. Bye. 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 I'm living in an RV. I'm so sorry, By guys. the way, I, I should have mentioned, but I, I did run a, a poll asking the chat if they thought that encounter was real or fake, <clears> and 65% <throat> think it's real. I think there's... I think it's probably real. However, there might be a mix, which is common with a lot of this content, mm-hmm. is that it might be both. It might be both. He just brought something out of me just now that nobody should see. Nobody. Like- this is goofing. Wait, look at the way he looked out the window. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> That's not me. I don't like talking shit about people. But... That was wrong of him. Like, he just cut me off from my transaction of me purchasing something from his store to tell me, aren't you living in an RV? Damn. You know how many people live in their RVs? Like, is that bad? Is that wrong? Are you better than me because I live in an RV? No, you're not. This is not serious, right? This is shtick. Is he mad? I think he's, he's playing. I can't pretending tell. To be he's mad. being silly. I feel like yeah. we're all equal. We are all one. We're all in this world together, trying to win together. Like, there's Back. no shot you would give this speech after nah. that happened. He's trying to maybe gain sympathy. Actually, is what <sighs> I'm feeling. Oh, God, I'm so confused. So, well, I am sorry that I made fun of him for working at CBS. That is not right of me. I take that back. Anybody who works at CBS, I apologize. CBS is a great store. And you guys deserve the best. Okay, so again, I am. Oh, he's getting ahead of the "you work at CVS" comment, which, yeah. by the way, I can see people getting mad about that. Sure, you work at CVS. Yeah, people are getting mad about that, and then him talking about the lady's card. Having Sorry, with her card. And he- the latest card. Her, she's having a problem with her card, I think. Oh, yeah. So he's getting ahead of it. Yeah, he knows. He just, he flared me. He flared me up. He flared me. 
There's no shot he's not kidding around. Yeah, no, he's kidding. Again, sure. I apologize. I am sorry. I will never do that again. The next time I go to CBS, I will give you a hug. Ew. Don't touch me. <laughs> Let's continue the day. <laughs> I'm sorry, CBS guy. Yeah, obviously I fucked up. So, here's what, <laughs> here's what we need. I mean, have to change your mind? <laughs> we need Austin to call in. Wow, really? Really? You want that? Do you want me to try? I absolutely fucking want that. Wow, okay. I mean, absolutely we should try. 100%. He, we, should, he can come in if he wants. Two legends. We need the CVS guy to call in. We need the CVS guy to confront him. We need to find out. Now that's a fucking bridge right there. Woo! CVS guy in Austin McBroom. Wow. CVS guy, if you happen to see this, message, message us. Yes. We can bring you all together in one magical room. Truly, truly. <coughs> Build that wounds. bridge. Build that bridge. Yeah. It's it's the bridge to the mind and the soul. It's not even a. We're not even talking. It's more than a bridge, even. <laughs> yeah. It's a stairway to heaven, more like a, uh, it's a causeway. But it's yeah, stairway to heaven too. Your family's heart and soul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. This is a really weird new. Um, Vertical here. Austin returns to school. Yeah, he was teasing all day that he had a big announcement. <clears throat> this was it. He, I guess, has a lot of free time. He, I don't know, he's not working really. To, well, he is working, but his job is so fucking easy. But do we believe him? Big announcement in one hour, he says. <laughs> all right, Snapchat fam, are you guys ready to hear my big announcement? <laughs> you guys aren't ready. No, no, you're not. <laughs> I'm ready to tell you though. <laughs> okay, guys, guess what? Austin McBroom is going back to school. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I am, guys. And guess what? I got accepted at UCLA. <laughs> Billy Madison. Okay. <clears throat> I don't. Can you just Extent enroll in UCLA a that easily? Extension school. I, I think you can. Oh, you think he's doing the extension school? Yeah. Like I know if you go to community college. You can get into UCLA if you transfer after two years. But if you're just like a dude who hasn't been to school in 15, 20 years, 30 years, 20 probably, can you just cruise in and be like, hey, let, can I enroll? I don't, I don't think, yeah. I don't, well, I don't think the, uh, not like this. This is yeah. definitely fake. Don't get me wrong, but like, sure, you can go back to school. But you, you would, want. UCLA wouldn't, they don't, oh no, you'd have to really apply like everybody else. Zach's probably right. Yeah, yeah. The extent they have like a, it's essentially is a community college. He it's said, connected. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. He says it's for his masters. Yeah. So no. that. Was, so that's a that's, that's real. bullshit. Yeah. Well, does he have a bachelor's degree? Yeah. So that actually, you could apply for a master's. That makes more sense to me. If he has a bachelor's already, then you can apply for a master program. Why? Right. Do, why do we know that he has a bachelor's degree? He played college ball. So I'm True. Uh, yeah. Okay, good point. Yeah. Well, so, that doesn't mean he got a degree. Maybe uh <laughs> maybe a college recruiter saw his uh ankle roll and said you got this stuff. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, he did go to Come college. Join. We know that. That's a good point. So does he say what's his master uh, in? This is let's, let's watch. He says in uh, psychology. Psychology? I, I mean, that is like the midlife crisis degree. He thinks psychology is just psyching people out. Psych! Psych! Yeah, I'm a prankster. <laughs> so I'm here now. As you can see, I put the fit on to match the school. <laughs> so I'm coming here to get my master's, okay? I mean, and go Bruins, my... right? Yeah. I go, go Bruins. My kids are going there. No, There's no discussion. Go Bruins, baby. They, that, I, uh, I'm kidding because it's like 10 say. minutes from our house. Oh, right. Well, there's yeah. that. I like, thought it was just because your dad was forcing you to... Fuck it. No, I don't man. care about any of that. Oh, okay. I don't care about Bruins, college, foot. I don't care. I'll be... If they're just there, like I'll be local. a big... I'll turn into a fan. Right. If they care about it. I'm not going to go without them. Sure. However, they are uh, they are disallowed from going to any other school. Thank you. If they go to any other school, they have to pay for it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Which most people what do a, have What to a do. harsh punishment that would be. Well, I mean, if your parents are offering to pay for college. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. You're like, you go to UCLA, and I'll pay for everything. Or you could be, a, you can go against the family and move a, 10 Living minutes an not close to me. Right. Lifetime of debt. And go to, go to USC. That's how we control our children, people. This is all a joke, by the way. Let's just be clear about that. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. 
PhD because you know, you know, I gotta work my way up. And uh, for those who don't Wait, know, he wants to get a PhD. Sure. <laughs> oh, I already got my degree. I already went to college, got my degree, so they accepted me here at UCLA. He'll, he'll soon be a uh, contemporary of Jordan Peterson's. Mm. Fantastic. A PhD in psychology. <laughs> And now I'm going for my master's. Um, as you guys know, I'm working on my mind. I'm working on my body and my spirit. And in order for me to capture the mind, I got to understand and learn psychology. Okay, so I'm going to school for That's... psychology. Get my master's. School for me starts today. I have a class today and I'm taking you guys with me. <laughs> yes, we're doing that today. So let's head over because we're running a little behind. So let's head over right now. I'm here at the school now. Being late on your first day of school uh, class is like a night, a reoccurring nightmare I have. And parking at UCLA fucking sucks, dude. Mm -hmm. Good luck. I've never tried. He's starting mid semester too. <laughs> right. I mean, uh, none of it. <laughs> Nothing makes. We don't sense have to. Pr this. Well, we don't. Right. Let's stop. It's not well, real. <laughs> no, it's not real. No so way. Real to him, damn We don't it. need to pick apart every hey. detail. We I, understand I that this is not real. It's still no. real to me, damn I don't know. I don't know. So I'm gonna head over, find some parking, and then figure out when my first class is. Um, I don't know if I have any friends that go here. I'm gonna be honest. So I'm gonna need some help around friends. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. How old is Austin? He's like 35, right? 36? Yeah. He's yeah. 30. <laughs> I don't 36. know if I have any college friends. Like yeah. I mean, he's 31. Why would you? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, he's, he's my 31. Age. <laughs> okay, he's young. 31. Camping. Uh, let's go left. Let's go he's left. A, he's a sprite. Uh, how you left. doing? I'm new here. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> how you guys doing? I'm new. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Going to school. Somebody's and... dropping him off, by the way. Hey, so excited. I cannot wait for this shit. Woo! Straight A's. <laughs> Come on. Master's. PhD. I'm coming. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you know where? <laughs> Dude, I'm vibing with this content. Yeah, I know. He's winning me over. I'm about to download Snapchat. <laughs> this is Ace Fest all over again. Yeah. Nah, nothing will ever make me download Snapchat. Dude, something. Other than them paying me. Something about seeing him in person, I just, I felt like I was close enough to just dab him up. It just felt so right. And I was telling Dan the story after. I was like, wait, did you, you really dabbing him up like that? We were just cracking up. I think I may have been a little high, but it just felt right. It killed me. Well, it yeah, sounds we, like the vibe was right. He does, you know, he's a homie. Yeah. Yeah. Where I park for school? Do we know where I park? He's asking Thank the fruit you so much. guy right where there. I park. Thank you, my brother. I'm going to come back and get some fruit from you. You guys got the best fruit. Yes, you do. <laughs> you want a photo? Let's get a photo. Come on. I think you're in my class. I think you're in my class. That's very funny. I think you're in my class. But fuck it. Come on. It seems like a Disney hey. movie where a kid <laughs> wishes to be right? an adult. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, like big. Fuck. Yeah, it's big. Exactly. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, my God. Big Z, Big Z here. Show my outfit, show my outfit, my school fit, my school fit. All right, guys, so I'm here on campus. On I love him, campus. the jazz hands. Dude, he is out of control. Okay, guys, I'm ready for my first day. I have my fit on. Um, so this is what I thought was best to wear today. I have this here to match UCLA colors. What's Those going aren't UCLA on? UCLA colors, just the blue. It's Where's close. the yellow? Blue, I mean, and there's, there's some blue. orange, which is not... There's He's new. It. He's new. He's new. Yeah. He doesn't know. It's Austin's world, man. We're just living. <laughs> What's he looking at? It's just a fucking weirdo. <laughs> here, here, no, I'll try it again, bro. I'll try this again. Everyone's fucking with me today, man. Like, See, like, yeah, it, it keeps doing it. Okay, here we are again. I'm here at UCLA. Show him again. Show him again. Okay, gotta get my energy back, my mood back. Don't let nobody, don't let nobody tear you down, Austin. I'm back. Okay, so <laughs> Dude, here's my come on. You guys saw the shirt. Okay, he is serving. The glasses. Here's my Puma shoes. Yeah. Okay, I had to wear no socks because everyone's smarter with no socks. Got my That's backpack. Yeah, I know. It's a little bougie, but it's all I had. I'm gonna show you what's in my backpack. Is it bougie? Okay. It's out of a designer backpack. It looks uh, like a kid's backpack. <laughs> so right like here. Got my jacket because it gets cold after five. Need that. True. Got Sweet. some headphones. Never know when you want nothing to listen to nobody. I got a wallet. <laughs> A water, and oh, then that's a four thousand five hundred dollar Louis Vuitton comic book. Back oh, that's just that is really ugly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it says about to get robbed on campus. 
<laughs> that is a that is just the silliest backpack for a, uh, an adult to walk around with. <laughs> yeah, five point three k retail. Wow. And zero school supplies. <laughs> oh yeah, no pens. Okay. Yeah, where's the pens? Where's the laptop? That's the gag, hey, guys. Is, look, 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 look at DDG gate. I don't know why I need that. The book is perfect marriage. He's got perfect marriage. Let me see that. This is this so is my agenda here. the most obvious bit of all of them. Yeah. Like he's this is when he's leaning in it. I mean, it's funny, but it's obvious. Yeah. Yeah. I liked it more when it existed in like a in a liminal in between. Yeah. But to be to be honest, I still don't know how much of it is real and how much of it is fake. I, I have no idea. I still think that it's a gradient of like I think he is getting divorced. Yeah. I think him making content after about being a pathetic divorced guy is intentional. <laughs> well, I He's think leaning he, into it. I think he started and when people were like, dude, this is pathetic, he started leaning. He saw an it. opportunity. Yeah. Which is credit to him from a content perspective. It is funny. That was a good move. And it's a way to reclaim and The other his... day, I think the the reason that I was skeptical is because I didn't believe somebody as egotistical as him would debase himself like that. But I think Olivia, did you say it earlier? Where mm. the the if he's intentionally being pathetic, then he owns it and it he I said that. Said, you said it. So that was my brilliant insight. Okay, I'm sorry. That is a good insight. Uh, yeah, uh, I I I think that there's something to that. Yeah, that's his way of like coping. Um, but then again, you got to think back to the the he, he was in Catherine's bed. Mm. Like, how do you explain that? I mm. I explained it the way that I explained it the other day. Post breakup sex. I mean. Okay. True. 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 And they're they're friendly. They're friendly. So that could be, that could be. They hooked up. The info I have right here. Doesn't mean the divorce um, isn't real. I'm running late though, we gotta hurry, we gotta hurry. We're running late, come on. Wait a second. <laughs> All theories oh, of mine went out the window with this school arc. Now I just think he's the fucking joker. I don't, I can't, <laughs> I'm so lost now. You're more this lost? whole bit I is I feel like this clarifies things. I well, feel like, the Yeah, but this is like so fake obviously, <laughs> but it's so not funny that it's, it's just weird. It is funny. I. It's it's cr it's crazy. I mean, it, I think it's good. Like he, I see a lot of people think saying they think this is pretty funny in the chat. So I mean, no, it's it's funny. Like I, I find know. it less funny as well. It's like funny to us. It's funnier. No, when... I don't think so. I think it's funny. That's what we do. I think it exists in its own world, and it's funny. Okay, in its own world, I do think so. I'm trying to get some and attention. And like the way that he's just fucking with people, and uh, everyone, I'm just so confused about everything and. I mean, this one is fake, but there will be real shit, and we won't know what's what. Yeah. Which reminds me, I need to do my, like, hourly check on him. Yeah, check him out. Do not tell me my class is way up there. Do not tell me. I have to walk all the way up there. Oh, hell no. The stairs do suck. Why the hell is the school this big? <laughs> this is ridiculous. No one needs to have a school this damn big. I'm with them on all ridiculous. of this. Come on, man. We got. I mean, college I'm campuses are massive. The UCs, they're all huge. Yeah. I mean, UCLA is like really big. I guess, yeah, they probably are. At UCSC, you have to take a bus to get to the other side. Oh, it's like on like a hill, too, right? You it's see, like in uh, the in forest, Santa Cruz? on the hill. Right. Yeah. So spread out. We got to go way up there. Are you kidding me? Why is his friend coming with them? He's going to class? His assistant? He's not going to class, Ethan. Thank you Why so is his much. assistant going to class with them, Dan? <laughs> is this real, chat? <laughs> I can't chat? join this tour because I don't know chat, where the is hell this real? I'm going. Oh, no, um, I'm sorry. Hi. Hi. How are you? Sorry, we're yeah, just... No, no, you're good. I heard your voice. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I'm, I'm... <laughs> Can we help out with something? Yeah, I'm just looking for Mr. Peter's class. I was joining your tour because I don't know where I'm going today. Oh, okay. No worries. Oh, he's, he tagged along on a tour? Yeah. <laughs> That's bananas. So, Jake, Jake. we have updates, uh, A.B.? Um, yeah, here, I'll send you his Snapchat. He's just, like, sweating balls in his trailer. In his RV, rather. Because the heat's out. Oh, so he's out of his friend's house. Yeah, this is from three hours ago. Heat. Hmm. I think someone should report to the campus police that there's a, a strange man who's not a part of yeah. that community wandering the campus. That's a good point. I think you're gonna have to just keep skipping through. I think it's the only way. Oh, this is the source, baby. 
<laughs> Being Being cool. Thank you, bro. We're almost there. Come on, we have to hurry. We're freaking late. Wait a minute. Do y'all see that? Sunset just hit me just right Bro, how that's long you been walking around campus? That's the vibe. That's it right there. See that right there? Golden the hour. Ooh, it's hit me just right. That's yeah. the angle right there. Ooh. I love that. Yeah. Look, look, y'all. It looks so beautiful. It's slowly dropping, guys. I love that he stops and smells <laughs> the roses. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Dude, he's so, get to Mr. Peter's class. He is so damn silly. Uh-oh. You think he was trying to make up a name and Jordan Peterson's the only psychologist he could think of? And he's like, <laughs> Mr. Peter. I'm at the soccer field and I don't see shit. What? I started class, uh, the class was to start at 4.49 and... Right, so what am I w watching you for? You have to keep dude? skipping to get to the... How do I one. skip? I can skip it's forward? It's 5.20. There's a right... Uh, Wait, are you trying to show him one from three hours ago, AB? Yeah. This is at 21 hours ago. We're gonna have to skip through like 200 videos to no, get no, no. to it. If you hover on the right side of <laughs> no, the there's snapshot... Only, there's, only, there's like three more videos here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Peter okay, here, these are from three hours ago. <laughs> okay. We're back. We're back. Rumors, man. I don't, yeah. Well, I no, I just assumed <laughs> just, that just in 24 hours he probably I'm posted another 200 guys. fucking Snapchats. God damn, it's hard to breathe here, y'all. So, <laughs> they got the heater to work. Thank God they got the heater to work, but the heater is now too damn hot. I'm sweating my ass off. It's hard to breathe in here. God damn, it's one thing after another. <sighs> Try to get my breath back. Oh my God. You guys do not understand. You know what you got. You know what you got. There's nothing real at this point. She is no, such a it's, diva. It's boring now that it's. it's that's it's, what I'm saying. It's, it's really just cringe. And yeah, sad and I agree. Boring. It's not. Yeah. It's not very watchable from from my point of view now. Get out to get some fresh air. That's what. I need y'all help. Just me watching out. a really weird long sketch. Yeah. <laughs> with no joke or exactly. point. <laughs> right. At the end of this, he shows a text message exchange between him and Catherine. So damn hot. He's eating I chicken. I burnt my damn chicken. <laughs> God, yeah, that's God. funny. That is funny. The chicken. I'm so hungry. Like. Got some other little, little uh, bit here. Oh, how many? Dude, how much I got to skip? You know, no. remember tonight. Yeah, the chicken. Skip to too far. Cookie. You're not gonna be able to go uh, back to the camper. Well, if chicken. I miss it, I miss you know, it. I yeah. See y'all. Like, all right, y'all. So why these cookies? I can't do this. Oh, oh actually, God, I found, he, I found he a way. Was he baking cookies he, without a sheet? Yeah. He put the cookie dough on just the rack in the oven. I wish I could go back, but I don't know. I don't think you can. If oh, you, you scroll can to the left, you can. You can now. Cool. Just saying if you go around. All right, you know what? I, I got to get out of this. Yeah. <laughs> I got to get out of this. Thank you, Austin. It just turned cringe. That's weird. The CVS one was such a hit, and then just downhill immediately. Because yeah. that one is like... Because it felt real. Best ones and are the debatable. mix. Yeah. Part real, part fake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are the good ones. Yep. The fully orchestrated ones are not good. What he needs to do is just put himself in public situations <laughs> yeah. where he's a menace. <laughs> so that real people are, com you know, complaining with him and calling him out. Right. You know. This was his final story, this text message exchange. I don't know what to gather from it, though. <laughs> he posted this text exchange with Kath Catherine says... And I booked the trip for the girls' trip next month. I was going to talk to you about it in person. I just have to get flight now, but the hotel is confirmed. Okay, no steel, Jack. What does that mean? Steel is one of his kids, I believe. Okay. Since they have school, it's better to wait for a break. Yeah, because two days isn't long enough anyway. But I got a villa confirmed in the Mal the Maldives for spring break. If you'd like to go, if it's this one, holy shit! Wow, thanks for the invite. You were invited already when I spoke to them about what I needed for the family. Fake. I don't know why this is such rant. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Why we? I don't understand anything anymore. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Don't send me anymore. With peace and love. No more Austin McBroom videos. Peace and God damn it! <laughs> and love.